We want to wish you well on this Lord's Day as we have the opportunity to gather around the table. We're, we're so thankful that you and your family are taking time to remember Jesus this morning. I know around the world, uh, throughout Christianity, people are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus today. Uh, and I'm certainly thankful that people are taking that time. What an amazing thing that people around the world are thinking about the risen Savior. And yet I know as we live out this command now, we also take time each week to memorialize Jesus' death and to remember what he uh, went through uh, so that the miracle of the resurrection could occur. We know that it's through his sacrifice and through his resurrection that, that we confirm that he is deity and we also are the recipients of the salvation that he extends. But now we, we try to reflect on what it is that Jesus went through on our behalf. In Isaiah chapter 53, several hundred years before Jesus was going to die, it was prophesied the kind of death that he would experience. And I'm going to read uh, from Isaiah 53, beginning in verse 1. Who has believed what they heard from us? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground, he had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned away one to his own way. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he opened not his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. And as for his generation, who considered that he was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. And they made his grave with the wicked and with a rich man in his death, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him. He has put him to grief. When his soul makes an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring. He shall prolong his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Out of the anguish of his soul he shall see and be satisfied. <clears throat> By his knowledge shall the righteous one, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the many, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he has poured out his soul to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many and makes intercession for the transgressors. I don't believe there's anything I could say that this scripture doesn't say better. And so considering this passage and what it is that our Savior has done, we're going to partake of bread representing his body and fruit of the vine representing his blood. At this time, let's offer thanks for the bread. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to, to remember Jesus, to partake of the bread that represents his body. Father, as we partake of it, we just pray that you would bless it and that you bless each and every one of us that we could truly honor and memorialize Jesus in this time. We thank you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, we'll encourage you to pause the video uh, for some time of reflection together. Uh, when you're ready, we we'll encourage you to press play for the prayer for the fruit of the vine. At this time, let's offer thanks for the fruit of the vine. Father, we continue our thanks this morning as we remember Jesus, what he went through on the cross for our sins. Father, we are thankful that, that he did so, and Father, we want to honor that sacrifice every day, but especially in this moment. Father, we ask that your blessing would be on this cup as it represents Jesus' shed blood. Father, bless everyone that partakes that they could remember Jesus in this time. We pray this in his precious name. Amen. 